What's going on, America? This is Kevin from Kevin's Corner, where I try to make sense out of nonsense. And it looks like the coronavirus then hit the U.S. in full -la 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 effect. That's right. Folks are panicking. People walking around with the Darth Vader mask on and, you know, the Bane mask and, you know, full hysteria. Uh, going crazy and I'm thinking to myself I don't know maybe we're overreacting who knows who knows it may be worse it may be worse than than what I might think it is but uh, apparently people are preparing for it as if this is the full-blown bubonic plague or something like that I mean I think it would be kind of funny all those people who's walking around with masks and and gloves on I mean just walk into Walmart and go right up to them like <laughs> oh God. Oh, man. Oh, jeez. I tell you, I had a long trip. It's been crazy this week. I just came back from China. And, anyway, hey, listen, could you pass me those chips right over there and see them dive up under counters and, and run away from you like you just farted or something, you know? It would just be funny to watch. Now, I know it'd be a little sadistic. You know, I might get charged on some charge of like inciting panic or something like that. Like I just yelled fire inside of a movie theater. But all I did was just coughed and, and mentioned some, some random places that I might've just, you know, ate. <laughs> my, my friend, he just came back from Italy. Oh, came up to me and gave me this big old hug. I was happy to see him. I was happy to see him. And I told him, that man that's crazy you just came back from italy and i just came back from china and here we are meeting together both coughing both coughing and spitting up stuff and gave each other a hug it's great to see you man anyway listen could you go ahead and pass me yeah people will get out of your way and you would be able to have anything you want anything you want so anyway nonetheless um yeah that'd be bad but funny but funny and the comedy is always worse the rest of the stuff the fallout of it you know hey it just is what it is but the comedy the comedy will live forever but i heard today that the schools in ohio mike devine then went ahead and canceled school for three weeks he, basically it's been posed as a three-week mm, spring break extension perhaps now i don't know about y'all i don't you know it, it, I, it's not going to impact me what well, mike but not really, not far as kids, you know, but all of those parents out there that have kids that's going to be home for three weeks, I'm sure they're contemplating what's worse, the kids being home for three weeks or the coronavirus. You're like, um, they young, they could survive it, can't they? I'm pretty sure. Now, we done found out that we got three cases in the Youngstown area. And I'm thinking, how did the coronavirus get to Youngstown? Nothing comes to Youngstown. No one wants to visit Youngstown. And I'm pretty sure no one in Youngstown has been visiting places overseas. So what's get, What's going on? What, what gives? Is the virus being shipped from China, showing up on packages? Because I guess today they found out that it can live uh, on certain packages and stuff for a certain amount of time. Not saying that it can affect you, but the one lady, the doctor on Fox today was saying, well, I mean, you know, and if, if you get a package from China, I mean, or Amazon, first thing you should do, you know, I mean, it's common sense to just wash your hands after you handle a box or a package. And I'm like, since when, since when, I don't know about you, unless the box have engine oil all on the outside or dirt or dust, something like that, some powder. I haven't picked up a box, set it down on the table and thought to myself, that box looks pretty dirty. Even though there's no dirt on it, let me go wash my hands. That's not the first thing that comes to your mind. But now we have to be conscious of these things because of the coronavirus. And um, so people are, they're going there. It's getting to the point now where it's getting crazy and people are panicking. And then you get creepy, sleepy, slimy, sloppy Joe trying to do a press conference talking about what he would do uh, if he was in control, all right? Now, here's what gets me about this, okay? It's a whole bunch of what needs to happen, not how it will happen, how I would do this. What needs to happen is we need to make sure that there's contingency plans. We need to coordinate with other countries. We need to make sure that health care is, is accessible to everyone who needs testing. We need to develop, a, and I'm thinking, Okay, a lot of we need to versus this is what I'm doing or here's how it shall be done. 
Whereas Trump is actually doing something, not just saying, we need to do this. You know, if that's the case, let's live off of that. I need to clean my room. And you know what? I need to make more money. I probably need to stay later at work to get stuff done. And you know what? I, I probably need to make sure that I'm I'm doing my taxes ahead of time so I'm not rushing when it comes down to the tax date. Yeah, I need to do all that stuff. I need to work out. I need to diet. I need to do all of these things. Yeah, but doing them is something totally different. So Creepy Sleepy Sloppy has the luxury of getting on TV and throwing out a whole bunch of what if and we need to without the responsibility or backlash if the follow through doesn't happen. See, so he's not threatened by it. He could throw a whole bunch of we need to. And then you got the media that will cover for him. That was powerful. It was great. Did you see how poised he was? I mean, when he spoke, he just commanded authority. It was amazing. I almost passed out from just awe as I was watching him. It was majestic. It was it was divine in a sense. Just, just, give me a moment. I tear up after listening to Creepy Sleepy Slimy. So when you got the media pumping it up, trying to push Joe Biden out into the limelight, um, you know, uh, it, 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 you know what's behind that. Uh, we need to get Joe in the office because we need to beat Donald Trump. So regardless of what Trump does concerning this, it's never going to be enough. But like I said on my live show the other night, I trust Trump handling crisis versus the Democrats. Creepy, sleepy, sloppy, slimy. No. Darn Bernie who wants to destroy America. No. Mm -mm. Yeah. So if anybody can handle a crisis, I think it's Trump. So everybody simmer down. Like I used to tell the kids when I was in education. Come in the room, they all going crazy. I simmer down now, simmer down now, boy. Simmer down now, boy. Calm down, relax. I know that people are concerned, but my gut feeling tells me that we're going to get through this. Like my Uncle Ron would say, regardless of the situation, you come to him talking about, this is ridiculous. It's so crazy, man. I need, and you know what? Things are falling apart. And he would just look at you and be like, hey, man. You'll be all right. So I'm here to tell everybody out there, you'll be all right. Use some common sense, wash your hands, and don't go snuggling up with old folks if you're sick, okay? All right. Nonetheless, kids get a three-week break, and the parents get a three-week headache. Now, you've been listening to Kevin and Kevin's Corner. Don't forget to hit like, share, subscribe, and the notification button. Find me on Facebook and on uh, Twitter and Instagram. Check out Extreme Tees. Put Kevin in the promo code. You'll get a 20% discount. And then what else? Oh, if you want to donate to Kevin and Kevin's Corner, feel free. Um, the link will be in the bottom of this video. And we will see y'all next time in Kevin's Corner. Like, let, me see. <laughs> let me see if I can spread it by touching the camera. Now watch some of y'all probably like, Ooh. now I can't touch my phone. It might have the coronavirus and spread it through the screen. Anyway, God bless. See y'all next time in Kevin's Corner.